Alright guys, and welcome back to Automatron, the DLC for Fallout 4, and so far I'm having a lot of fun with it. As you can see, Ada is now yellow, and I look like a complete burk. Yes, it's true, I have upgraded my armour. I just think it's stunning. I mean, look at the state of me. Seriously? I mean, I'm not going out like this. I wouldn't be seen dead around the Commonwealth looking like this, but for a little bit of a laugh, <laughs> honestly... I like the hat though. The helmet's pretty cool, but this this torso, no, seriously no. Um, so I was having a little fun with the uh, yeah. with the excuse me with the crafting station here, and I have actually built uh, another robot. It's around here somewhere. Uh, I was just sort of seeing what you could do, and and you can just keep building robot after robot after robot if you want. Of course, you need uh, the resources to do so. Um, but my my favourite little robot is over here. He's got, I wish I could name him. I think that's the only thing I can't do so far. Automatron seven one seven. So uh, this is him. Yep, uh, or her. Actually, it's her. I've given it a female voice and I've painted it orange. And he's got all sorts of different parts. But that's the beautiful thing. He's got lasers. It can fire, and uh, it's just stunning. Um, anyway, it is a surprisingly pleasant day. Seventy seven. So, let's have a look at, um, I wanted to just show you a little bit more about the crafting, because it's, it's actually a major part of this DLC. And as you can see, every time you come in, uh, 717 here is the one I've just built. Um, I can select a bot to modify, and I imagine as I keep going, I don't know what the limit is, there may be a limit on how many. Um, but at the moment, as far as, I, as far as I'm concerned, you're limited only by the resources that you have, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Um, so I'm going to just edit Ada. And just show you a couple of things. Um, a couple of things about the interface here, actually, which I only just noticed. That the L1 button changes the camera, so you can go in a little bit closer and view um, what you're changing. So you want to you want to check our head. And L2 and R2 actually rotate, so you can get an idea of what it looks like while you're modifying. You don't have to commit to it. Um, but let's go into this this sort of slightly closer view, uh, because what I wanted to do was um, have a look at a different uh, the different armor. Uh, on the right arm, you can see I've actually given her some factory armor, which is that which is highlighted in yellow. Um, if I go back out, and that's of course the right hand laser. But I was just looking through what weapons you can give them. It's absolutely insane. A an axe, an axe on the right. <laughs> look at it, a smoke claw. Uh, it's stunning, stunning, and and oh, it does not stop there. Look at the state of this: a drill, a saw blade. Are you kidding me? Uh, a shock claw. Oh, will, will you just a nail gun? Yes, a nail gun. Obviously, lasers and sniper lasers and scattered lasers and stealth blades. Yeah, huh? A shish kebab. Oh hell yes. I mean, this is just stunning, and of course, finishing off with an explosive minigun where no other weapon will quite meet your murderous intentions. It's just incredible what you can do, and uh, you know, I'm going to play around with this. Um, what have we got? What have we, I mean, why don't we just stick one on now while we're here? Uh, I have to actually get robotics expert upgrade, which uh, I'm still working on because I put all my points in everything but robots in the in the main game. Which of course I'm regretting now, uh, but let's give it let's give it um, uh, a sniper laser. Why not? It looks good. Okay, so on the on the left arm, what I wanted to do is give it a little bit of different armor. So of course the factory armor I've got there, but you can also change the style, the shape, the look and feel of it, and a hydraulic frame. But each and every one of these upgrades gives you something else. So. This one improves the damage and any resistance and increases melee damage. Well, go on, you can have that. Just keep an eye on what it is you're using. Most of the armor is actually pretty cheap. Um, because, well, for me it was, sorry. It's because I already had lots of adhesive, ceramic, rubber and steel. But some things like, um, oh, what's it called, asbestos. or, or a couple, There's a couple of bits and pieces that I haven't got a lot of. Of course, that makes it difficult to... Um, what do we got here? So we've got a, a left hand claw and a hydraulic frame so I can actually improve the type of frame for the weapon that I've got. Uh, I can have no left hand. That's pretty pointless. Um, <laughs> I like this one. A baton. Yes, you can just go and smash Johnny on the head with your police baton. It's brilliant. Um, 
but I'm feeling adventurous. Let's give, let's give Ada a flamethrower. Oh, oh, oh yes, we will. Right. So she's looking awesome now. I'm going to just go and tend to her legs. And of course, right down the bottom here, you can change the paint, uh, paint job on on anything. So I'm going to just change the legs um, and check out what kind of leg armor we can give her. Uh, let's give her the full shebang, and as you can see, I'm eating into my uh, reserves here. Right leg armor, but this is all fine, so the armor really for me, it's not such a big deal. And of course, it's painted yellow. Mid armor, we can have this mid factory storage armor. Now, the only thing with that mid armor is it makes her look like she's got a big ass. So, I'll put it on there anyway, just purely for comedic value. And now, Ada is very much a changed... Lady Robot, I've put some junk in her trunk. Look at her, look at the state of her. She's brilliant. Now, the next part of the mission um, in the Automatron DLC is to go and actually talk to Ada because, uh, I'm, oh God, I'm so, I forgot I'm still looking like a complete book. Uh, I, I like the helmet, but I really don't like the rest of it. It's a, it's a bit of a laugh, uh, but I really should, I really should get rid of it. It looks stupid. I polished, oh yes, I forgot I polished it. <laughs> uh, oh no, the helmet I want, the helmet I want, I like that. We'll have the chest, we'll have the synth chest piece. Uh, carrying too much? What are you talking about? Oh, is that because I gave these, oh, I gave the chest piece here deep pockets. Oh no, it's still, I'm still carrying too much, that's fine. So let's, uh, let's just grab all my other useful, um, Pocketed items of armor, of course. Since left leg, since left arm. Of course, there's me robot chest. Moves. Where, where, what happened to me right leg? Oh, there it is. There it is. And the right arm. I think I've done that. Have I done that? Oh, I don't know. Um, I should probably get rid of all this other stuff. But looking much more badass now. <laughs> Will it'll do? I've got a little radio antenna on the on the helmet as well, just to finish it off. Um, okay, now time to get rid of a load of stuff I really don't need. So um, I was just looking at that. I was playing around with the Mr. Handy Buzzsaw Blade. I didn't even know I had this. Uh, but look at it, look at it. Oh, yes. I don't want to kill one of my... But you really can do some damage to something. So I'm, I might well take that with me because it's, it's a laugh. Uh, right, I'm just going to get rid of a whole heap of stuff. That's weighing me down. Apart from my conscience. Molotovs. Jeez. Okay, I don't need that many. It's amazing how, how much they all actually weigh. <laughs> when you look at it. The Overseas Guardian. No way am I getting rid of that. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll ditch that blade. I like it. It's cool. But I'm not going to use it. Let's be honest. Um, the prototype there. That's not actually that heavy. The limitless potential. Um... Oh, and I've got this savage assault on head. Now I really wanted to try this. I didn't realise. I thought it was a helmet, but it's a gun. It's it's a weapon. It's so cool. I'm just gonna take it with me for for a laugh again. Um, Tesla rifle. Okay, you are beautiful. And I, I only just found that. I do want to take it with me because I want to try it out. Um, so let's see if I've got a load of apparel I can just get rid of. Um, the Mark II synth helmet. Oh, it's a good friend of mine. It really is. Um. I know, this doesn't weigh much at all, but I don't I don't need it. Uh, what else can we get rid of? Raider leathers. Oh hell yeah! All right, let's get rid of the robot stuff for now. Might well, might well come back to that. I had that other helmet which I was wearing in the last video. Uh, the sharp synth left leg. Um, okay, that's it's, it's good, but it's, it's not for me today. I'm just trying to get the the. Oh, what do I have here? Um, the lieutenant hat. Oh, can't, I just can't part with it um oh yes 30 yeah okay get rid of that and i've got a whole load of weight back um and then of course i've actually got a whole load of don't forget to do this guys i've probably told you this in um the tips video get rid of these mods you will you will just build them up over time and it's look at how much i'm getting rid of century a bad a habs helm so that is a mod for um, I presume my robots, um, but we'll find out in a minute or a bit later or in another video. I don't know. 
got to get on and do the next part of the mission. But this is, I just wanted to share some of this stuff with you because it's really, really cool. Um, I think, anyway. So, all right, without further ado, let's get on with the next bit of the mission, and that is to talk to my buddy Ada here. Look alive. Yes, sir. Here you go, Ada, the final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. Okay. Now, I did promise Jezebel that I would get her a new body, which is why I guess my character's asking for it back. Um, so I, I will start, well, maybe I should just say, look, we need it. Uh, we don't have a choice. Finally track down the mechanist. Or I want more info about robo brains because I've never seen one of them. They are new in this DLC. What else do you know about them, Ada? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. Perfect. L oh, like a synth. That's an interesting question. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo-brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The robo-brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. Fine. Uh, all right, well, we still need it. Um, and, and, and are you able to track down the mechanism? We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at You're all. You're forgiven, I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Ah, oh, you're being hard on yourself. All right, so why say that? I don't understand. There's no time for mistakes. So cruel. Or you're being very helpful, Ada. Um, I'll say you're being very helpful. would be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan. Oh, God. I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Wow. Um, okay, well, don't think that way. I will take that option. <laughs> you shouldn't think that way. Your personality helps you think creatively. I always considered my personality to be a burden, but I suppose I've been looking at it incorrectly. That's I right. I think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Perfect. All right, so now, uh, okay, I've been showing you the, the robot crafting system. Well, I guess now it's part of the actual main story, so uh, I'll get on and build myself a Jezebel. <laughs> it's like weird science. Jezebel's another name for prostitute, if you didn't know. Um, oh, wow, actually, hang on a minute. I presume I have to do it here. Yes. Okay. So, new automatron. Um, build, build a base bot. Make. Done. Now the head needs to be Jezebel's head. Oh, perfect. There we go. So I can pick that, stick it on. There it is. So let's uh, let's just have a quick look at that up and up nice and close. There we go. Look, Jezebel's head's on top of the robot. Isn't that wonderful? Um, do we give it any head armor? So oh wow. So we can give it all this awesome head armor stuff. Uh. The factory armor looks pretty damn tasty, but it sort of blocks her eyeball, which is one of the most interesting parts about it. Um, 
So we could give her this... No, I tell you what, let's have no head armor for now. Let's have none of that for now. We'll come back. Torso. Now, this is interesting. What on earth do we want this to look like? It can be the Protectron. It can be a Soltron. Let's, let's just uh, zoom out a little bit. It can be an Assaultron, which I've always really liked. The Robo Brain, though. Come on. Come on. We've, we've, we've done that. We've been there. We've done that. So let's go with the Soltron for now. Um, cool. And we can start packing it with armor. So this kind of this kind of armor will, um, as you go up the scale, uh, Voltaic is the is this sparkly one, which really looks cool. Um, so I might well give the oh, I don't know. Yeah, go on. Let's give it the Voltaic armor. Just looks nice. Um, the rear will do the same, I think. Yes. Or, although the actuated frame actually does look nicer, I think. Yes. Although that is actually... Oh, it's nice. Improved damage. So, obviously, things get better the lower down you go. They're, they're more expensive. Um, but that is just so cool. Right, right. You're going to have that. You're having that. Um, now, there's a torso mod. So, you can actually give them skills, basically. Uh, they can regenerate human allies outside of combat, um, and they can they can increase your damage resistance by adding these kind of little perks. It's really really cool. I mean, it's really quite a nice little crafting system. And of course, you can tell them to hack and lockpick stuff for you, so you can give them a module to do that. Uh, I won't be doing that today. Uh, now, what will I give her for her left arm? I think it would be pretty funny. Uh, oh no, hang on. What we're we gonna give you? You can have your a Soltron left arm, which makes a bit of sense because you've got the torso of one. So now you've got that. Are we going to go with Voltaic everywhere just just f for that sheer fun of it? Um, and what kind of weapon should you have? I love the look of the baton. I think you should have a baton. <laughs> it just looks silly. So you're having one, okay? Um, right arm. Let's go with Assaultron again. Of course, you can see you can make complete weird hybrids of anything, really. Um, Weapon-wise, what shall we go for? Like this. Look at this. A vice grip. It's so funny. I wish I, I, wish I had the... Um, Yes. Uh, the ability I've got the I need the blacksmith ability to create a lot of this stuff. The right hand laser looks damn fine. A cryojet, of course. Freezed our targets to death. Um and an automatic laser. Look at that though. Look at this hammer. It's just it's just insane. I love it. Mail gun, automatic laser. Right, well that's it. We're going with that. You're having an automatic laser. Jezebel. I do hope you don't use it against me. Um, and armor-wise, let's go with the Voltaic again. You're beginning to look pretty damn sparkly, I have to say. Now, legs. Now, this is the interesting thing. We can have no legs, or we can just give the Mr. Hand Mr. Handy thruster so they can go really, really fast. She'll be able to move pretty damn quick. Um, obviously, we can make her walk then. She doesn't go so fast. But the Assaultron legs, this is, this is how tall you realize those Assaultrons are. Um, and of course, Robo Brain uh, treads, so we can have a walk, a, a track along the ground, and sentry legs, these huge, huge uh, legs, which I've already used on someone. And of course, there you go. I, I have run out of material to build it already. Um, although, oh no, I already had one in my uh, mods, reused mods. That's why I was able to do it. So, a look, for a laugh, I think we'll give her the Mr. Handy Thruster. Just because it looks ridiculous with everything else going on. Yes. Now, the thruster armor, it can look quite special. A sinister plate, a savage plate. I mean, a merciless plate. I mean, what the hell? A warmonger spiked plate. Now, that's something I picked up from the mods that I just showed you I returned. So, let's, let's give her that. It's done. I think we have to now decide a color. Well, I think Jezebel should be 
mostly pink. So that's what she is. We're done. This should prove interesting. I wonder what you'll build next. Why, thank you. So, Jezebel, what do you think of a new body? You're going to hate me, aren't you? You look ridiculous. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. That's not cool being grateful. Uh, so what were you expecting? It's best I could do. I risked my neck. I could be sarcastic. That would be... That would be fun. Uh, so what exactly were you expecting? What body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. Oh, oh, yeah, let's be sarcastic. Sorry, your highness. The royal tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting <laughs> to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Right. Let's do that. Let's have a conversation, sandwich, shall we, Jezebel? And I'm so sorry. I realise your body looks terrible. But that's, like, you know, tough, really. What are you going to do about it? Uh, okay. The Mechanist. Tell me about the Mechanist. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. I see. Helping, she says. Um, Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. <laughs> There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. <laughs> Brilliant. So, the best way to help human beings is, is, is to kill them. I knew, I knew this creating robots was a bad idea. Um, the mechanist instructions, what were his instructions? Um... You don't understand how. Well, I want to I know what his instructions were. Come on, then. The Mechanist gave you these instructions? To kill people? Well, not exactly. The specific instruction was to help people. I merely interpreted the most efficient way to perform my duties. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. Wonderful. So I don't know if you've noticed, but the, the helmet I'm wearing, it, it sort of opens up in chat when i'm walking around it closes in i think that's i think that's what it does it looks good anyway um right so we've got to find the mechanist um if possible now i was having a chat with ac uh on with one of my friends ac on on online and it seems the mechanist was an old enemy of the antagonizer from For fallout 3 uh if you don't know what that is go and look it up i'm wondering if we're going to end up resurrecting some of that storyline here can we stop with the petty bickering and just get to the part where you tell me how to access the Mechanist's facility? I promised to answer your questions. And unlike humans, I don't have the capacity to lie. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. 
Okay, so Jezebel's a complete ass, isn't she? But that's cool. She's going to hang around. Um, that means I've increased my collection of homemade robots to three. Ada. Uh, oh, okay. All right. So we've finished that section of the mission, and now we're moving on to restoring order, which I believe is actually the last yeah. section of this um, DLC. So it's not as uh, it's not the most big biggest of DLCs, I know that, but it's given us a whole load of crafting options and a whole load of tinkering fun that we can have. Um, so I'll be doing that. And um, I know this has been a, a bit of pretty much a static and a building video, um, and it's, but it has given us a uh, progress to the storyline as, as 717 comes up neatly in the background. Thank you for that, man. Nice to see you here. Uh, well, I'll be back soon. Take care. All the best, guys. Please come and join me for the next part. Uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Good night.